doing some sod work today on this property. Little little area. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna till it up first. As you can see, we're just using a steel um, tiller. We're gonna go about two inches deep with it, grade it real nice. Then after that, we will put down some topsoil over top. You don't want to use compost. I know some people uh, recommend it, but we don't do it. And the reason being is compost, it's so concentrated, it's something the roots will be unfamiliar with coming from the sod farm. So you want to use like a thin layer of topsoil, you know, um, and that's what we got here, just some topsoil. These are big bags too, they're, they're a little more pricey, but they're 50 pound bags. Um, so, about a half an inch of soil should be good for that. And then after that, we'll put fertilizer on it and um, kind of work that in a little bit and lay the sod on top of that. Yeah, we're just doing zoysia. This is some zoysia grass right here. Real carpet-like uh, texture and gro growth. So, you know, down here in Florida, it's either going to be zoysia, Bermuda, centipede, or St. Augustine. Typically, zoysia would do better in a sandy type soil, um, whereas St. Augustine will do better like under some tree cover, not too much shade, dappled lighting, I guess, um, and some, some good organic matter. But zoysia, for some reason, it'll do really good in sand. The zoysia grass, I mean, once it establishes itself, it's so vigorous. It's um, it's great at crowding out weeds. It, it looks really good when it's cut well. You can cut it shorter than St. Augustine, it won't hurt it, whereas St. Aug, you cut it too short, you can really damage it. Um, you know, it has it has all kinds of issues. Chinch bug, you know, fungus issues. I guess more so than zoysia. So, my opinion, zoysia is a better turf grass as far as low maintenance goes, but it's all personal preference. Only, I guess the only downfall of zoysia is it stays brown up until about mid-April, early April, whereas St. Aug never really turns brown. It kind of just stays green all year. So that is one of the downfalls. Yeah, I'll team you guys back in, and this is Palisade. Uh, there's Ultimate, there's Emerald. Uh, our sod farm we get it from, they, they have their own kind called Palisade. It's a little less aggressive than Emerald, um, so a little bit easier to manage if you're trying to trying to contain it in one yard and not have it spread into a neighbor's yard. So, all right, guys, putting down some fertilizer now. It's a you want to put the fertilizer down before you put the sod in, and we already graded this. Yeah, this is a. Uh, synthetic fertilizer so it has or it's a semi-synthetic so it has organic matter in it which would be uh, like milorganite um, biosolids and you can see it it's got little black um, prills in there mixed with the with the others Let's see this one right here that would be like the same thing as milorganite and the white ones that's the nitrogen I believe this I might be wrong but I think that's the potassium and then the clear ones are also potassium it's a 5 or I'm sorry it's a 21 5 it's a 20, 20 parts nitrogen 1 part phosphorus 5 parts Potassium, and being that we're 
in uh, in Florida, most fertilizers don't even have phosphorus that pull it out of it. But you do want to use one that has some phosphorus because it's going to help the roots take. You just want to make sure you get it all nice and even. That's why he's going back around now. He's getting all the edges. That way it all greens up at once and not like, you know, you have like one one side that's greening up faster than the other. All right, that's, uh, that's it for that step and then we'll start putting in the sod. And I'll change back in when we get to that. Alright, so now we're putting in the sod, and you kind of want to do it like you're laying bricks, so you want to stagger the joints, that way all your lines, like this here, don't line up. See how they're offset? And that just makes sure the grass won't shift around, everything grows in nice. Nice and uniform. We lay everything first and then we go back through with an edger or a or just like a big buck knife and cut it. But today we're using an, uh, an edger. And it can be a little tricky when you got this weird kind of semicircle to go around. But you just kind of got to figure your way through. You know, yeah, that'd be good, man. We, we can cut it. So, just go all the way down like that. I think once we get to like right there, we'll change the pattern. And definitely make your cuts last because if you start cutting stuff now, you might run out of pieces. It's always good to see how much you're going to need left over. Um, for these areas, we're not going to use a sod roller. We're just going to kind of like kind of push it down, just stepping on it. That should do the trick. Oh, I thought you were going to go this way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just keep going the same way. Yeah. Then when we get to the end of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then we'll go, we'll go across like this. And then just, yeah, that should work. Because we can manipulate the pieces a little bit. All right, we're all finished now. This was a really tricky one to do. It's not, you know, it's not square, it's not a rectangle, it's not a circle, it's a, you know, it's a special design uh, the homeowner did. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit, a little tricky, because everything didn't actually line up the way it normally would, but Once it grows in, it'll all be uniform. But yeah, that's that's it. As long as the uh, customers water it, water it properly, and don't let it dry out, should do just fine.
Yeah, it looks good when you're standing back here. <laughs> Once you go close to it, it's like, oh. I, I mean, they probably won't notice, but. Uh, you know, I don't really honestly know how to make this look better. Because if you went, you know, perpendicular, or if you went uh, parallel to this, this wall here, this border, rather, once you came out, you would still have a bunch of cut pieces. So we went this way. So let me know what you guys think, how, how you guys would have done it. But um, the, main, the you know, most, most important part here is that it grows. So we did all the right steps for that. It's not the prettiest you know, sod laying job, but it is what it is, right? All right, guys, uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy this content. And I'll catch you next time.